Disregard NVIDIA. AMD could be Super Microcomputer's new dearest companion. Super Microcomputer Incorporated, all the more regularly known as Super Micro, has seen its stock skyrocket by 2,220% throughout recent years. That shocking assembly was powered by the quick development of the artificial intelligence market, which drove data center administrators to buy a greater amount of its elite exhibition artificial intelligence servers. First, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you found the content helpful and insightful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest finance tips and insights. Your support means the world to us, and we're thrilled to have you as part of the Finance Savvy community. By subscribing, you not only stay updated with our upcoming videos, but also contribute to the growth of our channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future topics, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. We love hearing from our viewers. Thanks again for being with us. Stay financially savvy, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a fantastic day. Now, back to the article. A great deal of Supermicro's development can be straightforwardly credited to NVIDIA, symbol NVDA, which gives top of the line GPUs that interact with complex AI and artificial intelligence undertakings. NVIDIA worked intimately with Supermicro to plan another line of servers and workstations that completely upheld its H100 GPUs. And that tight relationship empowered Supermicro to cut out a high development specialty with its artificial intelligence servers in the vigorously commoditized market for prefabricated servers. However, Supermicro's reliance on NVIDIA is a two-sided deal. It battled to get a consistent stock of NVIDIA's GPUs in mid-2023, and its two biggest rivals, Hewlett Packard Enterprise and Dell Technologies have likewise been working with NVIDIA to plan new artificial intelligence servers. In its most recent 10K documenting, Supermicro conceded that it holds no drawn-out concurrences with NVIDIA or different providers to secure them as selective accomplices. That is the reason AMD symbol, AMD, ongoing venture into the data center, GPU, market may be incredible information for Supermicro. Why AMD could get up to speed to NVIDIA in the artificial intelligence race. AMD just controlled around 17% of the discrete GPU market last year, as per John Petty Exploration, placing it in a far-off second spot behind NVIDIA with its 80% offer. AMD's portion comprises gaming, GPUs for laptops, yet it has been growing its venture into the data center market with its nature GPUs for handling artificial intelligence assignments. AMD carried out its most memorable clump of impulse GPUs, the MI6, MI8, and MI25, in 2017. It sent off its most up-to-date MI300 Sense GPUs, which are produced utilizing TSMC's 5 nanometers and 6 nanometers cycle hubs in late 2023. By a few industry benchmarks, AMD's top-of-the-line MI300X beat NVIDIA's H100 as far as crude handling power and memory use. That is a dazzling warning for NVIDIA since the H100, which faces continuous production network imperatives, actually costs around fourfold the amount of as the MI300. NVIDIA claims the H100 beats the MI300 while it's running upgraded programming, yet that slight contrast presumably will not legitimize its exceptional sticker price for cost-cognizant data center administrators. That is the reason it wasn't business as usual when AMD's chief Lisa Su as of late said the MI300 was on target to be the quickest income slope of any item in the company's set of experiences. Su likewise appraises that AMD's Epic computer processors have asserted 25% of the server central processor market to the detriment of Intel's symbol INTC market driving Xeons. Between the development of those two companies and the extension of its programmable chip business, from Xilinx, AMD has a larger number of data center packaging choices than NVIDIA. Cozing up to AMD. Supermicro as of now works intimately with AMD to plan servers for its Epic Central processors and Impulse GPUs. In November, 
Super Micro Chief Charles Liang anticipated that AMD's MI300 GPUs, NVIDIA's most recent GPUs, and Intel's gaudy artificial intelligence gas pedal chips would all, quote, gain wide reception and grow our portion in the sped up figure market, unquote. In January, Liang anticipated that continuous broadening would be, quote, over two times the size, unquote, of the company's artificial intelligence portfolio. Assuming that Supermicro sells more AMD-fueled artificial intelligence servers, it could lessen its drawn-out reliance on NVIDIA and protect itself from any future store network limitations. Serious strain from AMD could likewise drive NVIDIA to bring down its GPU costs, which would help Supermicro's gross edges by lessening its part costs. An even play on the artificial intelligence market. Supermicro as of now creates about a portion of its income from its artificial intelligence servers. And Bank of America accepts it could extend its portion of the committed artificial intelligence server market from 10% today to 17% over the following three years. That is the reason experts anticipate that its income should develop at a build yearly pace of 42% from its monetary 2023, which finished in June, through its financial 2026. That is a staggering development rate for a stock that trades at only multiple times the current year's deals. That low valuation as of now makes Supermicro an alluring long-haul play on the artificial intelligence market, however. Its continuous expansion away from NVIDIA with AMD-fueled servers could make it a more adjusted play on the artificial intelligence market than either chipmaker. Again, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you found the content helpful and insightful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest finance tips and insights. Your support means the world to us, and we're thrilled to have you as part of the Finance Savvy community. By subscribing, you not only stay updated with our upcoming videos, but also contribute to the growth of our channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future topics, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. We love hearing from our viewers. Thanks again for being with us. Stay financially savvy, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a fantastic day.